Yuga Labs, who has a new CEO coming in. So the former Activision Blizzard president, Daniel Allegra, is going to be the new CEO in 2023. The company says Allegra's gaming experience will help advance the other side metaverse and at its ambitions for an immersive Web3 world. For those of you who don't know Activision Blizzard, they are the company behind massive games like Call of Duty and World of Warcraft. Little disclosure, I contribute to a Web3 gaming DAO, so I am naturally bullish on all things Web3 gaming. Will, what do you think of this new CEO appointment? I mean, got to be honest, a little corporate. Looks like they're just bringing someone in to professionalize something. This does not look like someone who came up or plays Call of Duty late, late at night. And that is the NFT culture that we are used to, right? We're used to people just being like building things on their sofa, not really uh, the corporate types, really, you know, that they're out there building NFTs, building GameFi, not professional. And I think Yuga Labs is now moving into that professional mode where they actually want things to be taken care of correctly. They're looking for accounting. And this makes sense in the wake of FTX, right? So when we saw John Ray III go to Congress and say that this was the worst corporate controls ever, that probably rung true for a lot of different crypto companies. And I think a lot of crypto startups were looking at their books and be like, huh, this kind of looks like FTX a little bit, so maybe I should professionalize. So seeing something like this makes sense to me. I think we're going to see more of it. We're going to see more bleeding over of normal corporate folk into crypto because at the end of the day, you have to have it. It might be fun to run around and build things at a dev con, but at the end of the day, you have to have things professionalized and standardized if you're going to make it. Zach, to you. I like that take. It does seem kind of sad, you know, like pour one out for like weird NFT degenerate people who are running these projects and bringing <laughs> on buttoned up former Activision executives to run these things and to license and the IP out. and to make movies of it. And they're like, oh, no, just do the Hollywood thing. Just sell out, right? We got this guy coming in. Activision was here forever. They were here all the way back to Pitfall. Anyone who played Atari? Check that out way, way back, right? So maybe, maybe <laughs> NFTs are in the Atari moment of their development, and this guy will advance it toward the Call of Duty era of the NFT scene. But I don't know. I'm with Will. It feels kind of sad. I saw his hand go up. I'm tossing it down to him. Yeah, can we get can we get him back on the screen here? I just want to say, like, this is the person <laughs> that you bring in, no, just like no, John Ray no, the Third. Don't do it. This, this, do this it. is the person <laughs> don't do that it. you bring don't in. Do it. To standardize no, things, right? That's okay. Cold. Well, I, hey, this is who you want running your company. And I think we need to emphasize that more. FTX was run by a clown who was sleeping on a beanbag. And that's why everything was run on Google Sheets and QuickBooks. Okay. This guy ain't doing that. This guy is standard. That's He's true. professional. That's true. He is going to Stop run Stop fighting Yuga my bags, up. Will. Stop fighting my bags. It's true. No, your bags are going to strengthen from here. This man knows yeah. what he's doing, okay? You <laughs> want to see Allegra this. You want to see this. <laughs> oh, he will. He will. Jen, to you. I just want to say, you know, we spent so much time on this show talking about the horrible user experience in many different metaverses. And to have someone who worked on games like Call of Duty, I think will add some of that user experience that we've been talking about, right? People have been building these immersive worlds for a long time in Web 2. And maybe we need those people to come over and help us get up off the beanbag and build something that we actually want to be in. Zach? I'm bullish. I mean, Yuga is a big deal. They're going to be sort of the flag bearer for Web3 metaverses going forward. I'm for it. We wish them success.